All my life I made art in order to worship God, to try to understand Him and to let me known by God. The five solas are deep aspects of God's revelation that the Church of Christ lost in history. The reformers got back to some of the essence of God's revelation. I am interested about those subjects for my own life and I know they are universal, they are not only for Protestant Church. So creating art objects about uh, this subject, I think they will be a benefit for, for everybody. There are so many books in this world, but one of them is the revelation is the message from outside our system. It's a message of our Creator that knows how we are, that knows how I am. So when I read a book, I can judge the book, the, the quality of the writing, the message, so on. But when I read the Bible, then God Himself is reading me. Our lives uh, as humans are like boats on the ocean of life. Storms come time by time. What we do in that circumstances? We have two possibilities. One, to throw the anchor of our lives down through the water up to the level of the ground so our stability will come out from our friends the doctors we know the finances we have so on or another possibility we have is to throw this anchor to heaven we have the promise of god himself that when we do this then the anchor will catch the throne of God and then God will simply watch down the road. I deeply believe that God that created the whole universe and uh, all the animals, he created the lamp, the lamps, to express Jesus Christ. I was born in the countryside. I, I uh, participated to the killing of many lambs. None of them say anything when, when they are killed. They don't shout, they don't cry. They accept death. The Lord Jesus Christ did the same. He accepted death. He did not, did not oppose that. He gave everything he was, not only what he had. He gave us his body and his blood. Now the sculpture is a lamp of God created by eyes, trying to say that the lamp gave everything, asking for nothing, but he is watching you. How do you respond to this infinite love? The contemporaries of the Lord Jesus Christ wanted to kill him in different ways, to stone him, to throw him down uh, from the mountain, and that the result would have been an hori a horizontal a visual image of the savior of the world. But God the Father said no for three times. He got him out from that situation and let him go die vertical on the cross. Because this is the most powerful 
image of this world, the meeting of the vertical with the horizontal, the cross, because the cross is formed by, by the world and by heaven. So Jesus is a fantastic bridge, the only bridge, the only ladder from here, from the earth, to get up on his sacrifice, up to God the Father. We know that the universe is singing to, his, to its creator. We humans give glory to other things than to God himself. This sculpture tries to stimulate us, to call us, to give glory to God. This sculpture tries to get us back to the harmony of the universe where God, the creator of everything, have to be honored. <laughs>